Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archer. It's our choice. Welcome to this week's choice. This week, we are heading to BC with Batnuni Guides and Outfitters. Batnuni Lake Guides and Outfitters. I always say that wrong. Why? Yeah, you do. I don't hmm. know. Maybe it has something to do with you being up taller than you're supposed to be. Well, I, you know, I set my NT climber up here to be, to look, look, look down at you. And I mean, it's just, but you should I like this. Tell him, he should this never look down at people. Never. No, I don't look down to anybody. Really, anyone you at look any up time. At everyone. Yes, I'm always <laughs> looking up. So I really dig this position. This is like cool. So how safe is this? Oh, look this at that. This stand will hold anything. <laughs> and now I'm taller than you are. Hey, let's get into the first hunt, shall we? Look at this. Yeah. Now I'm taller than you. You know, you don't have a safety belt, so watch oh, this. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you coward. She's a coward. Now it's time to get ready, and that's what we are doing. Yep, you better practice. You need all the help you can get. <laughs> we're up here with Bat Nooney. Bat Nooney Lake guides and outfitters and look at the bear tracks. Jim and Lyle said this is a really good crossing. So all we're doing right now, this is the first night. We just got here about two hours ago. And all we're doing right now is just checking some of the crossings because they come out. All these dandelions are up right now and this is the ticket. It doesn't get any better than this. First night, we got rain coming in pretty good. We saw a beautiful little chocolate. And we tried to hurry up a little bit up on the hill here. And he came up and uh, he actually treed. So we ran up here towards him to keep him up in the tree. Welcome back to The Choice. Now let's check back when Vicky makes me her hound dog again.
boy. Go get that bear up the tree. Oh, listen, we, we watched this, this bear and we watched it. We got 50 yards, we got closer. She, we now know why she wouldn't leave. There's, there's a cub. There's a cub up there. Two of them. Is that there's one? cubs up there. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. Now we know why she wouldn't leave. Why she opted to climb. Sorry, Mama. Wow. Come. Okay. That's uh, one of the things with bow hunting is you get nice and close and you can tell. You know, you get an opportunity to watch the bears and in this situation, that bear climbed that tree real fast and Ralph and I, as soon as she started climbing, Ralph and I came running at her to make her go up quicker, kind of like a dog would. And she just wouldn't come down. She's wolfing at us and everything else. And now here, That's the reason in. being is there's a there's a cub up there and the little cub's moving now, going by mommy. Mother's instinct, look after their little babies. It's a great, you know what? It's all part of the adventure. We leave her alone, let her grow her cubs up big and strong and we won't mess with her anymore. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Check this out because we got so close to a monster bruin. Yeah, you're so hip. I thought that's word. You're almost there. We just put a heck of a stalk. The wind started to count down. Everything was in our favor. The only problem is we had a really good bear. 
feeding right here on the other side of this marsh. Vicki and I just meandered through the marsh, keeping the wind, keeping everything in our favor until we ran out 65 yards and we're not taking a shot like that. Welcome back to The Choice. You know, you're crowding me. You're absolutely You're in my crowd. space. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, Nothing. I'm sorry. I'll get down. Okay. I feel much better. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Don't ever get my space again, okay? So now, let's get back to your hunt. Yeah. This is the last night. My last night to hunt. You get one more night to hunt after this one. This is my last night to hunt. And what do you do? You go after the bear like a hound, like a crazy man. And before we say any more, let's just roll the footage. And no, that's not exactly what you were doing. You know, yeah, but hey. It was more like it. You know, I know you're a bear to I, live with, but I you have to do it out in the woods too. It is the second and last day. Tomorrow's our last day here. We seen some bears. It's kind of shut off. It's kind of gotten a little slow. Um, yesterday, we only saw two bears. But the first day we were here, we saw nine. Now, this is my last day of hunting. Tomorrow, Ralph gets to hunt and we leave out on Sunday. So we'll see what happens. As we've said before, Ralph and my passion, it's bow hunting all the way. And I can't even tell you, begin to tell you how many bears Ralph has taken with his bow. Well, this next hunt changes everything. He takes out a rifle for the first time on a bear hunt. Look at this one. It is the last day of the hunt. We have been hunting hard. We have been covered up with bears. Things just have not worked out, whether it was the wind swirling, we had thunderstorms, we had everything hit us all at once. I'm here to tell you, Bat Nooney, Bat Nooney Lake Guides and Outfitters have done way beyond, have gone way beyond our expectations again. And as you know, this show is the choice. And when we say the choice, it's real simple. The choice of weapon is all up to you. We need to stop fighting amongst ourselves. We're bow hunters, yes, but we're hunters. And we just put an unbelievable stalk on a bear, a big bear, and everything worked out. And What a hunt. Spotting and stalking black bear up here at Bat Nooney Lake, guides and outfitters. And I've got to tell you, Jim and Lyle, our second season here. Yeah, I can't, we, Vicki and I can't tell you enough. Pick up I his mean, head again. Huh? Pick up his head again. Oh, yeah. 
That's a good bear there, Ralph. That is a great bear, huh? That's an awesome bear. Wow. Welcome back to the choice. I just want everyone to know, this is like take 37, because Vicky's having an issue with going traditions, how do you say that again? Jim Bruno from Traditions Firearms. Traditions Firearms. And he's perfect. Thank you for letting everybody, I mean, wow, <laughs> cool. Let's just get into Jim, this is his first bear hunt. Just check out the footage, and let's just watch the footage, it's gonna be much better than what he's got to say. All right, we're back on the trail again. We found a bear. He's about 500 yards in front of us. We were ro rolling over top here, and he surprised us, so he's a decent bear. Guys, oh, scent away spray, scent lock. It will help because you guys stink. We, stuck, we made a good stalk on him, a couple hundred yards, but the wind's at our back. We wanted to do the stalk anyway. And uh, we got to about 100 yards and he kept walking straight away from us. So he finally smelled us and uh, he took off. So. We're gonna get back in the truck and try to find some other bears. Well, Jim's been to a lot of action. Now, let's see if he could smoke them with that traditions. We're gonna try to make this quick because the mosquitoes are like swarming our heads, both me and Danny. We checked out the site. I'm standing at the site where the bear was shot. We checked the video. He humped up and he acted like he got hit pretty fatally. Buck, booked into the heavy stuff. It's getting late. We're gonna go back to camp, wait a night, and come back in the morning and find him. It's going crazy. These mosquitoes are having me for lunch, so let's get out of here. We're tracking them. We found where we shot them. We left a stick there last night so we knew exactly where we went into the woods. We're gonna track them in and hopefully he should be just a little bit inside the woods. Good job, man. Nice. Yeah. It's my first black bear. Um, again, a re little recap last night. Went to this green field. The farmer told us he was hanging out in the backside of this field a lot of times. He was sitting there. We stalked up into within about 100 yards, made a good shot. Um, she took off into the woods. It was low light, so we decided to wait overnight. This is what happens, success. We smoked them with the traditions. Nice. Wow, huh? That was really That was cool. cool. Jimmy Bruno from Traditions, you go, bud. You smoked them with that smoke pole. He sure did. That's his first bear hunt, his first bear. And, and we were lucky enough that Dan Wallace, you know, one of our posse guys, were up there filming with us and got it all on film. It was, I mean, that's what it's all about. Right. So thanks for making the choice. Your choice. We'll see, see you, you next week. week. Now get off my tree stand.